tonight with a big change in the municipal elections. There will be no more June elections. This thanks to a bill from the governor just signed into law. Thank you for joining us. I'm Latoya Silman in for Jim tonight. I'm Reed Cowan. All right, so this change moves municipal elections to November in even years. And our Jeff Gillen joins us live from City Hall with how that affects a lot of people and especially our current mayor of Las Vegas. That's right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, this affects Las Vegas. It also affects Boulder City, North Las Vegas, Henderson, any city that has a spring election. Know who's really pumped that municipal elections are now in November? I'm so excited. I finally beat Oscar at something. The mayor of Las Vegas, whose husband was also the mayor of Las Vegas. Her four-year term, which she won in the primary in April, just got extended a year. He just has said, you'll have 12. I've got 12. No, I am going to have 13 years. Yes! It's thanks to Assembly Bill 50, which now has the signature of the governor. What it does is move the those June elections to November. And what it also does to get everybody on the same calendar is make candidates elected in 2017 up in 2022 and candidates like Goodman elected in 2019 up in 2024. In a nutshell, it extends terms by a year. I think moving the municipal elections into the even-numbered Novembers is a great thing. That's historian Michael Green, who says for years they've been talking about doing this as a way to cut costs and also boost turnout. Take Las Vegas, for example. In this last election, only 10 percent of registered voters voted. But it means that 10 percent of the voters chose three new members of the council. Uh, that's not a good system. Elections aren't cheap. In the primary, Clark County, which runs elections, charged cities almost $800,000, money they could use for something else. Meanwhile, at 13 years, Carolyn Goodman will not be Las Vegas' longest serving mayor. That honor belongs to Oren Gregson, who served 16 years from 1959 to 1975. But at least she beat Oscar. The issues that's going to that's right. Back no life here in front of City Hall. Once again, your next municipal election will be in 2022. Live here in Las Vegas, Jeff Gillen, News 3, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Jeff.